Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I just thought I'd come along quickly and show you something I've been doing this week. Um, I'm studying at the moment, so I'm sort of a bit short on time to do things and particularly to video things, but um, these were quite cute. I thought you would enjoy them, so I thought I'd show them to you. Um, it's not a tutorial. I'll show you and tell you how I did it, but I'm not going to do one with you. I'm just going to show them to you. So um, this is what I've been making. Now, these are all made out of wallpaper samples. Um, or wallpaper. Um, I actually have two rolls of wallpaper. In fact, I have three, but one of them is very old and cracks when you fold it. So I don't use that one for this. <laughs> um, these two wallpaper patterns, um, I picked them up in Bunnings, um, a hardware store in Australia here, the only hardware store in Australia here, you might say. Um, they're normally 80 to 125 dollars a roll. Um, of course, nobody in their right mind is going to pay that for it for crafting. I walked in there one day and they had these rolls out for $10 each. So I grabbed these two. They were the prettiest ones they had and I like working with wallpaper. Um, I love sewing wallpaper, it just feels nice. Um, anyway, here is a little piece of the wallpaper. This is about the size I cut it to. I don't measure these. There's not really any sort of measurements. As you can see, they're all a bit different. Um, the one thing I do measure to cut it off the roll basically is they're about 18 centimeters long. Um, yeah, and then I just fold them up like this and this. And I have a little pocket. I sew up each side and across the top and down the other side. And then I just use them as a little bag or a little pocket, decorate them up. Um, these have all been decorated by paper flowers and stuff that I have had in my stash for I cannot tell you how long. Um, I got them in a grab bag. Um, I don't buy paper flowers uh, <laughs> because I never know what to do with them. <laughs> Hence they've been sitting in my stash but for whatever reason they just really suited this project or I felt they did so um, yeah I got rid of so many paper flowers it was so nice I made quite a few of these. Um, these little flowers I just made of fabric. Um, there's some just batting, I guess, in between two pieces of fabric. And I just sewed a little flower um, and then cut around it and coffee dyed them. So quite a few of those lying around as well. So use some of those too. And these little doodads are just little bits and pieces that I got from a lady who was cleaning at her craft room and um, yeah she just gave me a bunch of little doodads so I've used them up on on these little things. So what do I put inside them? Well the reason I make these is because I make these little altered slides. Now these ones are very sort of uninteresting I guess. It's a little postage stamp, well, in fact it's two postage stamps back to back, so it's the same postage stamp on either side. Um, just looks like a slide with a postage stamp. So uh, these are quite easy to get open, just sort of flick them open with something, your nail or something else. Um, they sort of pop apart and then you can take the negatives out. I keep all the negatives to use for other things. Um, and these were just run through um, a laminator. I put a bunch of them on an, in a laminated page and ran it through my laminator and then cut around them to a size that would fit in my slides. And there you have it, little stamp slide in a little pocket. And I'll just pop that in a journal list, there's something cute. Um, I also have done coins, I don't have one on me at the moment, um, but you know like those faux coins you get on the necklaces and stuff, um, I do those through the laminator as well, they also work. And these are quite cute, these are little butterflies, uh, they're just stamped out of um, uh, acrylic skins, 
if you do an acrylic paint pour or something you often get a lot of acrylic paint that just sort of sets in the bottom and it comes off if you've lined whatever you're doing with plastic it comes off in sort of a sheet um, I just used a paper punch to punch out some little butterflies um, out of my acrylic skins and then yeah made some little ran them again through the laminator and uh, popped them in a slide so yeah it's just something a bit cute to pop in a journal um, these ones have quite fancy little slides in them these are Kodachrome slides um, they're the cardboard ones that you often find um, if you're careful you can split them in half um, and get the um, negatives out which I have done um, and then I had some dried flowers which I also ran through the um, How many times do I have to say this and still have to think about it every single time? Ran it through the laminator <laughs> and popped them in the slide and then just glued it all back together. Um, and then I punched a hole in the slide, put this little dangle on the side, it's just a little paper tag with some stamping on it. Um, a little metal charm and it's hanging off a uh, little fishing swivel. So yeah, just something a little bit cute to pop in a journal. Um, I did leaves and flowers and I, I had quite a few. I just bought a little pack of dried flowers. So um, and just yeah same thing again here's just another one. This has just got a um, skeletonized leaf. Again it's been laminated. Um, did exactly the same process I did for the other one. Popped it in here. And again, just a fishing swivel with a little metal charm and a little tiny paper tag or cardboard tag attached. So yeah, they're quite cute. I like them. So there you have it. That is what I have been doing this week when I have had a moment. And um, yeah, I think they're quite cute nice little addition to a journal and I used up a bunch of paper flowers I've had lying around so all the better <laughs> all right guys thanks for coming along today I've appreciated having you here I'm sorry it's such a short one and yeah there wasn't really a tutorial or anything but um, they're really easy to do they're really cute and yeah I just wanted to say hello to you guys because I haven't been here all week so yeah <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy. I will see you again next time. Bye.